Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2022 statistics. Today we will discuss the very into interesting and the important questions related to the convergence in probability with the help of shortcut picks. This is the question number 31 asked in this examination. We you can simply follow my telegram link where you can find the various shortcut picks as well as my YouTube channel link Dr. Harishkar where you can find the various previous year lecture on the GATE examination. So now let's discuss this question number 31 with, which you can solve within a one minute with the help of my shortcut trick. What you can think is whenever there is a related to some probability density function think about that which distribution is here. So if you look about that there is a gamma function what is the pdf of the gamma distribution so we all know this is the beta this is the pdf this is my pdf of the gamma distribution so if you compare them what will happen? Alpha is nothing but my 1 by 6. You can see here, this is what is a beta? Beta is nothing but my 1 by 8. The only thing is we have to check whether beta upon alpha is 1 by root 2. So what is that? Beta is my here. This is 1 by 6. So I can write this as 1 by 2. That is nothing but my here. So it means this follows the gamma distribution. So what is the mean of the gamma distribution? It is alpha upon beta. What is the variance of the gamma distribution is? Beta upon here. So what is that? This is 1 by 6 upon 1 by 8. That is nothing but my 4 by 3. What is that? This is 1 by 6 and 1 by 64. So it is 32 upon 33. Now once you know the mean and variance of the x, so this is the mean because they are the IAD. So it means this will goes to the 4 by 3. Variance is goes to the 32 by 3. And once they are the IAD, then what is this x bar? This is always follows the normal distribution with mean is my here that's a simple now there is no need to think about that what is the meaning of the convergence i will tell you a shortcut tricks whenever there is a term of root n present in the series so the shortcut trick is here so we have the gamma distribution so you can think about here whenever there is a term of the root n of this find the y n what is that this is my here so we all know this follows the normal distribution with mean and variance are this then this is my function this is my g of say y this is y times 3 minus y then g of theta so if you look about that what is the g of this mean what is the g of 4 by 3 so it's a 4 by 3 3 minus is 5 by 3 say 20 by 9 so this condition satisfied then it will converges to the normal distribution with sigma square and g dash of theta so what is the g dash of this so you can find the g dash 3 minus of 2y so what is the g dash of what is the mean is what is the mean is my 4 by 3 so what is the answer of this 3 minus 8 by 3 so you can substitute here sigma is my 32 by 3 because this is the variance of this multiply 1 by 3 square so the answer is 32 upon 9 9 into 3 27 so the right answer is 32 divided by 27 is the right answer. So remember this is the shortcut tricks whenever there is a rules convergence to here you have to find the square root of this then take any of the function make sure that this value is a non-zero because if it is a zero then the normal distribution zero variance also zero. So the right answer is sigma square that is nothing but the 32 by 3 g dash so if you consider about the function is here this is my g what is the derivative at the point of this mean that is my mean is my 4 by 3 so 3 minus 4 by 3 is my 1 by 3 so that is the right answer of this problem i hope you can simply learn these shortcut tricks in a very simple manner we will see another lecture 32 33 onwards the, again with the help of the shortcut tricks in our next lectures till then you can simply follow my gate playlist channel name dr harish garks you can like share and comment these videos best of luck students happy learning